Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever you want. Welcome to the Network for Hospitality Announcements with Sales Details. My name is Mauro Rizzi, and I'm the Director of Business Development for Networks in Alcatel Lucent Enterprise. And today I'm the webinar host. I'd like to first thank you for taking the time today to learn more about our hospitality network solutions. Your feedback and questions are very important. Before we get started, I'd like to cover a couple of housekeeping points. Please note that the webinar today is being recorded. If you have any objections, please disconnect now. All lines will be muted during the presentation. After the presentation, we will take questions from the attendees. You may post a written question at any time, even right now, during the webinar via the questions tab in the webinar panel, and those questions will be addressed during the question and answer session at the end of the presentation. The presentation can be downloaded from the ends out section in the control panel right now. However, after the live webinar, Today, we will send you a link to download the presentation and the recording of the webinar itself. The topic for today's call is about all the announcements to our networking solution for the hospitality market. We have in the webinar, Anna Mata, who is the business line manager for the hospitality solution. So you can take the chance to ask her any question around hospitality. Without any further ado, let's get started. Anna, floor is yours. Thank you, Mauro. Welcome everybody to this uh, presentation. In this webinar, we are going to explore uh, Alcatel Lucens Enterprise value proposition for the hospitality industry. And we will see how our network infrastructure solutions contribute for this uh, sector. The presentation consists of two parts. Part one is the customer value proposition itself that can be shared externally with your customers and your prospects. Part two contains same sales tools and tips and additional information for the sales teams and is not intended for the end customers. Let's start then with the customer value proposition updated for the 2019 offer. We'll start by understanding which are the main industry trends for the short term future, then We'll talk about our value proposition, which is driven by actual use cases and needs from hoteliers. And after that, we'll conclude with some key takeaways and some customer references. With the industry ten, uh, trends, well, we are in the era of smart hospitality. This means that uh, hotel businesses are becoming smarter through new services from the cloud big data analytics, bots, artificial intelligence. The rooms are the guest private space in the hotel with seamless technology that makes guests feeling at home. And the guests expect to enjoy personalized and mobile services everywhere within the hotel premises. According to the industry analysts, around 60% of the hoteliers identify voice-enabled technology and artificial intelligence as the key technologies in the near future. However, guest Wi-Fi, smart TVs and streaming capabilities are by far the prime investments in guest-facing technologies plan planned for this year, followed by uh, customer mobile applications, while location-based services is one of the areas experiencing the highest growth. This means that Wi-Fi in room technology and mobility are still the baseline technologies in hotels. In the hospitality dynamic environment, there is always uh, an urgency to solve uh, today's uh, pain points, apart from paving the road for new developments. And most hoteliers declare uh, to be suffering from limited IT, budget, IT resources and budget constraints which made difficult to get rid of obsolete and costly system and undertake a technical renewal. All these difficulties can be overcome by moving the system to the cloud. In parallel to cost savings, there is a need to monetize the investment in technology and to satisfy the customer's expectations and the industry requirements. We can do this by keeping pace with the latest technological evolution. This is the way 
to generate new revenue streams by <clears throat> increasing the guest loyalty and the staff efficiency while keeping the hotel secure against cyber attacks. The guest experience, on the other side, starts at the very moment when the people decide to travel and they start uh, surfing the web in search for the perfect hotel. For this reason, hoteliers are being proactive in developing new web and mobile apps to keep their customers and to attract new ones. Ali Network Solutions can help enrich these applications with differentiating services for the guests. For example, before the guests stay in the hotel, by knowing in advance that the guest is arriving, you can send a welcome message, propose a remote check-in or a digital key to the room. Once in the hotel, you can provide wired and wireless connectivity seamlessly everywhere and with, every device, with any device. You can amaze your guests within room automation and superior comfort or guide them through the premises offering personalized services. And after the stay, you can send a farewell message when they leave the hotel and offer personalized loyalty plans for future visits. So the first set of use cases that uh, we are going to see in our value proposition is related to the connected guest experience. We'll see with these use cases that uh, with the constantly growing expectation of the guest, the Wi-Fi is no longer a commodity for the hotel, but it's a critical service. In the hotel, there are three main characters uh, for the story, the hotelier, the hotel staff, and the guest, and each one has their own needs. The hotelier normally may want to offer enterprise quality Wi-Fi everywhere within the hotel premises to guests and staff, mainly to get good or not get bad reviews on Google Trip and the other, the other uh, social media, and choose the captive portal solution that best fit their business needs. The staff may want to be able to manage guest accounts quickly and easily and have access to the hotel applications and tools whenever and wherever they need to use them. And the guests, <clears throat> the guests will want to be able to log into the hotel network right after checking and move around the hotel premises without losing Wi-Fi connectivity or quality. With Ali Stellar Wi-Fi, there are different choices for the guest access to the Wi-Fi network, always in a secure manner. With the Stellar Enterprise Mode, we have an entry-level embedded portal and landing page with simple login and password. With the Stellar Enterprise Mode, we have an advanced proprietary captive portal with various credential uh, creation methods, and this portal can be customized and personalized with the hotel brand, images and messages. The hotelier can also collect some useful guest information during the login process. Guests can also log in through their favorite social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google, and this list will be enlarged with WeChat and Rainbow social networks by Q3 this year. For hotels, there are for hotels where an external captive portal from other vendors is required or is already uh, being used. We offer the possibility of integrating a Stellar Wireless LAN solution with this captive portal in a non-disruptive way, leveraging CRMs and PMS integration capabilities and protecting the hotel investment. A Stellar Wireless LAN has been officially validated with Ucopia and Blue Octopus captive portals. And other commercial captive portals can be validated upon request. For one stop shop. Uh, vendor, Ucopia, is going to be integrated in Ali Catalog by Q3 this year. Another important value for guests is to have a consistent user experience throughout the hotel premises, regardless the type of connection and the device that they are using. Thanks to the embedded unified access and user profiles, we provide seamless connectivity with differentiating access rights and services for guests and staff. The Stellar Wireless LAN solution guarantees pervasive mobility around the hotel premises without losing the connection and keeping the Wi-Fi speed and quality, independently of if the guest is in the room, indoors or outdoors, or in a crowded area with many people connected to the hotel network at the same time. Additionally, the hotel staff can connect to the network to use the corporate applications and tools with the maximum security 
in a different villain than the guest. The Stellar AP family provides for all the Wi-Fi connectivity needs in any hotel or resort. The economical AP1101 is ideal for small and basic hotels. In medium to large hotels, for indoor environments, we propose either the new Wave 2 entry level AP1201 or the high performance AP1220s, depending on the cost versus performance requirements of the hotelier. For high density areas, like uh, the lobby, restaurants or convention centers, we should consider the AP1230s with three radios and multi hic port for high speed Wi Fi. And for the out outdoor areas, like gardens or swimming pool, we have the Ruger Ice AP1251. Finally, there is an in room dedicated AP that we will describe on the net next slide. By Q4 this year, we are increasing the Stellar family with new AP models that are compliant with the new Wi Fi 6 standard. Let's look now into the guest room. This is the private space for the guest in the hotel. When it takes to technology, guests expect to enjoy the same or higher level of services that they have in their homes. Starting, of course, by a high quality Wi-Fi connectivity for all their personal devices. The AP1201H provides connectivity to all the wired and wireless room devices, like for example, the IP phone, the IP TV, or a room automation control unit, and for the guest devices like the smartphone, the tablet, the laptop, etc. The 11AC Wave 2 technology guarantees high speed and improved throughput for high quality real time voice over IP and video media. Thanks to the AP1201H controlled radio coverage, there is no competition of bandwidth with other guests. The new user account isolation feature in Stellar enables the creation of a guest private network. The guest will be able to link personal devices to his account through the captive portal, up to a maximum of five devices. Devices of the same account will be treated as one group. They will see each other, but of course, they could not be seen by other guests in the room to guarantee the guest's privacy. This functionality will be available in Q3 this year. Also, the new guest content streaming feature will allow guests to stream contents from their personal devices to the room TV through Chromecast. There are two scenarios of Chromecast deployment. In the first one, the Chromecast device is owned by the guest and he can add his Chromecast device to the guest private network via self-service portal page. This scenario will be addressed with the account level isolation feature in Q3 this year. In the second scenario, it is delivered by a service in each room by a centralized Chromecast system owned and managed by the hotel. This scenario will be addressed in the Stellar Express mode by the end of Q2 this year and will, become, will come in enterprise mode in a sub subsequent release. Now, to complete the user experience and digital <clears throat> engagement, the hotel can implement location-based services, with services, which are of three types. Geopositioning and wide funding that tells you where you are on a map of the building and how to move from point A to point B. For example, when the guests open the hotel app, the app may locate them in the map and provide directions to the room. Or if they want to go to one of the hotel restaurants, they can see the restaurants available in the resort, make a reservation and get directions on how to get, to get there. The second type of services are the geo notifications. You define an area so that when people enter or leave the, that area, an action is triggered to be pushed to the, to the user device. For example, while the guest walks through the resort, as they pass by the hotel amenities, they can receive a coupon with offers or a notification of a happy hour or other contextual information. And the third type of service is people tracking, which allows to locate staff members on the map. For example, if a guest call complaining because the air conditioning is not working in his room, the management can pick the closest maintenance uh, people and send them right away to that room. With this type of services, the guest digital engage engagement is improved and the revenues related to different hotel services 
can be increased. There are infinite business cases that can be defined through the location-based services integrated on mobile applications. And not only for hotels, but also for other hospitality-related business, like, for example, restaurants. This use case on this slide illustrates how to implement <coughs> how the implementation of a geofencing area combined with an integration with the restaurant booking engine and the restaurant Wi-Fi can help to optimize the booking service, the waiting times in the restaurant, and to increase the customer satisfaction. With one BLE beacon at the restaurant entrance, the restaurant app in the customer mobile detects that the customer enters in the restaurant. A notification is then sent to the LBS cloud management system, which integrated with the restaurant booking engine can trigger a series of actions. For example, push a personal, personalized message to the customer mobile phone. If the customer has a booking, notify the restaurant staff that the customer is waiting at the entrance. If the customer does not have a booking, check the availability. If there is no table available at this time, notify the customer and propose, propose them to the booking on the next available slot. If the customer does not have the restaurant application, when he tries to connect to the restaurant Wi-Fi, the captive portal can suggest them to register to the restaurant app and directly connect the necessary information. On this slide, you have the components that we sell for an LBS solution. These are the beacons infrastructure that could be integrated in some of our Stellar APs, the uh, location SDK and the management tools. The location SDK is the software that captures the location signals from the beacons and translates these signals into real-time inf location information on the guest mobile. It must be integrated with a map SDK and with the hotel mobile app to offer the geo-positioning and wi finding services that we have shown before. The third component is the cloud management tool, which enables the monitoring of the beacon's battery life, provides analytics and lets you define and manage the geo notifications. A new stellar LBS asset tracking functionality will be available by the beginning of next year, and a refresh of this value proposition will be done with the new use cases and the equipment. The second set of use cases is related to another trending topic in the hospitality industry, which is the Internet of Things. IoT devices are or may be everywhere in the hotels. In the bedroom, we can find thermostats, lightning sensors, curtain controls, or even more sophisticated bed bug detectors. There could also be building management system for heating and air conditioning, sensors for energy savings, uh, security and safety system, etc. And uh, this means that clearly the IT technology can contribute to improve the guest digital experience, but at the same time, it can create a real headache in terms of management and security for the hoteliers. To help them with the IoT in, in, IoT management, we propose the IoT containment strategy, which permits the onboarding of IoT devices to the hotel network automatically and with enhanced security. In this example, the gaming machines in the casino can be assigned to a gaming container. First, the IoT device is classified through its unit signature or fingerprinting. Access to a fingerprinting database in the cloud with the signature of millions of IoT devices will be available by Q3 this year. This service will streamline the classification of the IoT devices when they try to connect to the hotel network. One classi one, once classified, the type of device determines the network container to which the device must be connected. The container security profile defines the level of network access, quality of service, allowed protocols, user access rights, etc. for the device. Now, the IoT devices uh, in the guest room uh, can be assigned to the guest room automation container and the security cameras can be assigned to the security container with specific policies regarding traffic. In summary, we propose one single network infrastructure with one private network for every type of device and every need. The IoT containment simplifies then the network deployment and the operations and minimizes the risk that a severe attack could reach the whole network. 
we, <clears throat> we've just seen that the IT containment enables the integration of the room automation, automation devices in the network. But for a superior experience, it is necessary to offer the guest a friendly, easy to use control of the technology in the room. Being a convert uh, communications and networking vendor, Ali has the capacity to propose different user interfaces from which the guests will be able to control the room automation. Like, for example, a room control unit, a room IP phone 8088, or an integration with a mobile hotel app. On this slide, we can see an example of a converged architecture. The IoT Hub is an Ali in house deployment, development sorry, dedicated to the in room automation control from an IP phone 8088. The IT Hub is a gateway between the guest interface and the automation devices. In this uh, example of architecture, we have the room control unit, which is automatically and securely connected to the hotel network in the guest room IT, IoT container. This unit is capable to control the room sensors on one side and to talk to the IoT Hub on the other side. The guest will be able to manage the room automation through the guest application on the Smart Desk from 8082. Similarly, a rainbow powered application could be proposed for the guest smartphone. Now, the third set of use cases is related to network management and cloud-based solutions. From the management point of view, we provide a single network management system for all your network. Omnivista 2500 is our network management system for LAN and wireless LAN with unified access policy, managing all the devices, the users and applications, all on a single platform. It provides a consistent user experience while reducing IT efforts and simplifying operations. With advanced smart analytics, we have a view of the network and how it's been used by users, devices and applications. You can generate reports, enforce policies, and you will even be able to plan for network upgrades based on projected bandwidth utilization. New analytics regarding, regarding the quality of experience of Wi-Fi and LBS will be delivered in Q4 this year, in line with the augmented intelligence trend. To simplify <clears throat> the support and maintenance of your network, we offer also the proactive lifecycle management tool, PALM. This is a management cloud service that connects to your Omnivista and provide services such as complete inventory, an overview of your infrastructure, hardware and software, and the state of the maintenance support contracts. Regarding the business models, the industry is progressively moving to the cloud and looking for more flexibility, both financially and technically. To support this move, most of our network solution can be delivered in OPEX through pay-per-use commercial models and can be deployed in the cloud or in the customer's premises or in a combination of the two. The Ali cloud-based solution are the networking on demand for networking equipment and the Onivista Cyrus for management. With Onivista Cyrus, a very limited quantity of IT resources can manage remotely in customer networks, even fully distributed across multiple locations, as it is frequently the case for the hotel chains and resorts. Onivista management application is in continuous improvement. The, versions released, the version that has been released in Q, Q1 this year includes important new features for hospitality customers. With uh, Onivista Cirrus multi-tenant services, with this functionality, one multi-tenant supervisor can manage individual Onivista Cirrus tenants. This is particularly useful for managed service providers who oversee properties from different end customers like several hotel chains with different owners. Geomap view, the hotels can be geolocated in Google for multi-site topologies and with new SSID application for simplified wireless network configurations. This includes a wizard, a wizard tool for the creation of SSIDs and for monitoring information and edition of the SSIDs. Now, to make the network operation easier and more accessible to hotel staff without IT expertise or to operators external to the hotel, the Stellar APIs allow the integration of certain functionality of LE network management system with other tools. 
One frequent case in hospitality is the management of SSIDs. For example, when an SSID should be enabled or disabled on a set of APs during and after an event, or when an SSID should be time-based time controllable according to seasonality or to the hotel schedule needs. These operations can be integrated in hotel applications for the hotel staff so that these employees can easily manage the SSIDs without requiring IT intervention. Or in the case of managed service providers, they can integrate these network operations into their own multi-vendor proprietary management tools. Now, in line with the industry trend to use bots, Aliyah's Converge vendor can propose integration of the Vista management system with Rainbow Bots. Rainbow bots. Through a bot like the one displayed on this slide, the hotel staff could manage frequent tasks like create or delete Wi-Fi guest accounts or reset guest passwords on the fly from a PC, a smartphone or a tablet. Or they can subscribe to receive network events on their mobile phone, like for example, an access point is down or restarting, so that they can detect a Wi-Fi service failure and call the technical service even before the guests start complaining. This type of integration is useful for non-IT staff that will not normally be logged in the Onivista management system. If we look deeper now into the smart, smart analytics, the application visibility shows which applications are running on the network and which ones are using the most bandwidth. The administrator can then reserve bandwidth, limit bandwidth, prioritize or even blacklist a specific application or group of applications. For example, you can limit the access to Netflix service only to VIP guests to avoid the hotel network slowdown. Ensure that the hotel staff have access to the PMS application. Prevent the usage of certain services like BitTorrent or plan for future upgrades according with the bandwidth usage patterns. In other words, visibility and analytics help you protect your hotel network and make better decisions aligned with business objectives. Finally, thanks to the analytics collected to the LBS management tool, is it possible to identify the most and least, least frequented areas, the peak times, and, how, and to analyze metrics related to the customer loyalty. This information can be used to adapt marketing strategies, to design commercial offers to generate additional revenues, or even to improve information in case of emergency, emergency situation, for example, evacuation maps or recommendation to avoid specific areas. The user information in the LBS Cloud Manager, Manager is anonymized to comply with the data protection legislations. We will see now how Ali Networking Offer is flexible and versatile enough to cover the functionality needs of every type of hotel, attending also to their budget constraints. We can provide the right network architecture to cover the needs of every type of hotel or resort. For small hotels with basic network requirements, we may propose a cost-effective architecture combining the entry-level Stellar AP1101 or AP1201 with the OmniSwitch 2220. OmniSwitch 2220 family is a series of affordable gigabit switches with a simplified web management interface. Stellar Express provides a basic embedded captive portal and by QN of Q2, it will be able to escalate up to 256 APs in a single cluster. For the medium and large segment hotels, we propose our multi-hig high power reverse net access switches, which combined with the Stellar Wave 2 APs, get the maximum benefit for your Wi-Fi and IoT devices. In the reference architecture that is displayed on this slide, for example, we propose the only switch 6560 as the perfect companion for the stellar access points and for the connectivity of IoT devices like the video cameras. All the architectures designed with these elements can be managed either with the in-premises management system or from the cloud. With a stellar enterprise, the end customer can decide between the UPAN captive portal or the integration with other external captive portals. Of course, between 
the basic architecture in the previous slide and this one, there is room for every combination of the only switch LAN and stellar wireless LAN equipment according to the hotel needs. Finally, there are customers with very specific needs that may, may require a customized design, such as the case of extra large resorts, big convention center, hotel casinos, or cruise ships. For these customers, Ali provides the adequate support for project assessment and services, and the necessary equipment. For example, some models of uh, only switch land switches are DMB certified to meet requirements for maritime transportation. There are rugged models of only switch land switches and stellar APs for outdoors and harsh environment. And in Q3 this year, we are introducing a hybrid H-pool reference architecture to complement GPON networks with advanced Ethernet LAN and wireless LAN features and services. To sum up the end customer value proposition, let's see now the conclusions and some customer references. The Ali Network Value Proposition, under the name of Digital H Networking, allows hotels to carry out their digital transformation. For this, Digital H Networking is based on four pillars. Connectivity, for a perfect interoperability of guests, staff and hotel devices in the same physical network, with the appropriate level of security and services, IoT, to improve the operations of the hotel and the guest experience by enabling millions of, de of devices and sensors, augmented intelligence that using intelligent data analysis allows to personalize the guest services and offers on one hand and to make informed decisions about the evolution and maintenance of the network on the other, and cloud economics that through the adoption of cloud-based solutions enable the implementation of new services to improve the staff efficiency, to increase the guest digital engagement and to provide new sources of income to hoteliers. We will see now how this value proposition is translated into the field with real success stories of end customers. The hotel Scandic Central Elberum in Norway has only 90 rooms, but its conference facilities can accommodate up to 1,000 attendees simultaneously. In other words, the key to Scandic Central Elberum business is to provide an excellent service to its conference clients, including the Wi-Fi service. To satisfy the customer requirements, <clears throat> Ali proposed a converged voice and data solution, including an OXI and IP telephones, telephones, LAN switches, and a stellar wireless LAN solution with AP 1201H for the rooms and AP 1231 for high density areas. In their website, Escandic Central Elberum offers their customers an easy free Wi Fi service as obvious as is the pillow, as you can see on this screenshot from their website. The next customer experience is the Jeju Simba Wall, which is the largest family resort and vacation center in South Korea. Jeju CEO's ambition is to exceed guest expectation by providing a new and differentiated guest digital experience in an innovative hospitality environment. Ali has helped them achieve their goal by equipping the guest, room, guest rooms with the Smart Guest Phone 8082 and a Smart Guest Application, which includes a control system for adjusting the room temperature and lighting together with an intuitive econ search. An underlying infrastructure of Ali, of Ali land switches enables the implementation of these differentiating services. On the slide, you can see a screenshot of an actual smart room with the 8082 from Jeju website. The third case is Okada Manila Resort, which is a big integrated casino and resort in the Philippines. The challenge in this case was to respond to extremely demanding scalability, reliability and security requirements, while providing a high level of network services. The complex houses almost 1,000 rooms, 500 gaming tables and 3,000 slot machines in the casino, 21 restaurants and more than 50,000 IoT devices. 
during peak hours there could be up to 20,000 guests and external customers with their devices and everything must be connected to the network. Due to the resort long distances, a fiber infrastructure based on passive optical network was chosen, which meant an optimization of the wiring costs and distribution switching. However, to satisfy the high volume of service, servers, the advanced functionalities, as well as the level of reliability required, Ali deployed a hybrid h pool network with a core of OmniSwitch 6000 switches and an access layer of LAN switches with no ONTs connected to the edge of the passive optical LAN. On this slide, you have a couple other uh, recent customer uh, references. All these references can be uh, found in our external website with other details about the customer, about the customer case. Of course, we have an, an outstanding number of references worldwide from hotel to cruise lines, from simple brands to the most luxurious in the world. And you can check them on this link on the Ali external website. At this point, we have finished the customer value proposition pre presentation. Now, uh, I'm going to, provi to provide you with some useful information for uh, partner sales teams. We will through the sales resources available to help you position LA and win opportunities in your customers. The external customer references are available in the public LA website. You have the links on this slide. Of course, there are many internal references which cannot be used externally, but you can always ask your account manager should you need some further information on customer references. Regarding the training, the sales and pre-sales training courses with their certification are available in the Knowledge Hub. The sales webinars for Ali and partners are recorded and the recordings are made available in the Knowledge Hub and also in the business portal. There is a hospitality page in the business portal where you can find the value propositions, the sales presentations, this presentation in particular, and, design, and some design documents. Regarding the marketing campaigns, last year we launched two verticalized campaigns in a box that are available in the business portal, one for IoT and the other one for Stellar Wonders. A new campaign for small hotels is made available right now. There are also some competitive materials like battle cars to help you position LE in front of the most common competitors in the field. On the application partner program website, you can find the third party vendors certified or recommended to work with our solutions like captive portals, map SDK vendors. On the Ali website, you can find also info around the strategic partnerships like IBM. Besides the business portal, most of the end customer materials and marketing collaterals are reachable through the hospitality web, public web page. You have the link on this slide, so please do not hesitate to refer your end customers to it. You can navigate to verticalized pages of the different products in the offer and reach the marketing collaterals that are relevant for each product or solution, like, for example, location-based services for hospitality or the Stellar Wireless LAN for hospitality. We have also a page <coughs> dedicated to mobility for hospitality and for IoT for hospitality. This page contains verticalized uh, materials. In summary, from the hospital web page, you can reach and download, download the marketing collaterals for end customers. This, there are brochures, solution sheets, technical briefs, videos, and there is also an ebook with the customer public references. If we talk about demos, there are several available on the Columbus Executive Briefing Center and also there are these demos available remotely on the eDemo platform. There are demos of Stellar, Express and Enterprise, of OmniVista 2500 and OmniVista Cirrus, from location-based services and some of them with a vertical orientation. And these are for free for all the business partners. And finally, this is the Space Workers Community site. 
which is intended to exchange new news information, blogs, or technical questions around our networking solutions. So I encourage you to join the community and also invite your customers to do so. So this is the end of the presentation. Uh, now, Mauro, if there are questions, we can go through them. Thank you, Anna. We have currently no question on the question panel. Let's leave a little bit of time to our attendees if they want to post any, any question or if they want to speak. I see one hand raised. Let me see, uh, Patrick, you want to ask, uh, ask a question? I can unmute your line if you want to ask any question. There's okay. Now we see some question coming in. Okay. Is there a list of IoT devices compatible to the ALE hospitality solution? Uh, in principle, uh, every type of device, could, of device could be compatible with the solution. Uh, what we are uh, including in Q3 is, the, is this new fingerprinting uh, service. Uh, I will be able to provide more details about this uh, service uh, later when this uh, more defined for the launching, but it includes like uh, 17 million of different IoT devices that can be uh, classified uh, through this uh, service. So, in principle, any type of, uh, of device uh, would be compatible with our networking solution, either for hospitality or for the other verticals. Yes, and there's no need to configure the network manually. It's going to be automatic through the fingerprinting of the IoT devices. Th thank you, Anna. Would you please send us the video? Yes, of course, after the presentation, you will receive uh, the video. What are your sales strategies for selling this solution in Indonesia? Mm, okay, uh, this is, uh, I would say this is a question more for the, your CSM, uh, your channel sales manager in the local. Uh, normally, there should be some sales, uh, Ali sales teams uh, that work uh, locally with uh, with our with our partners and our customers everywhere. In the case of, of Indonesia, I suppose uh, it would uh, depend on Singapore, but I'm not so sure. But uh, in any case, it's something that you could chat with your channel sales manager who is the one that uh, could help you to identify the, your local uh, uh, interface in, in, in Ali and uh, discuss with them the, the best uh, sales approach or strategy for your end customers. Correct. Uh, thank you, Anna. And we have no further, yes. <laughs> Are, are the cloud-based offerings available for Middle East Gulf region? Where is this hosted if available? Mm, okay, I can look and send you the, the, the list of countries where the solutions are available. I know that the Univista Cirrus has been enlarged recently, the list, I mean. The list of countries yes. where is it available, so I can I can uh, retrieve the, the the actual list, the updated list, and and, and provide it uh, to you at this mo at this time. I'm not sure if Middle East is included or not. Uh, we have to check uh, in the in this material, but I will I will I will look for it and, and send it to you. The hosting uh, for Europe is, uh, if I'm not wrong, is uh, in Germany. I think it's uh, where the yeah. where the only Vista is uh, hosted in in Amazon Web Services in Germany. Yeah, to comply with the GDPR rules. How much is it gonna cost for the complete solution for the hospitality? Well, well it's difficult to say. <laughs> gonna cost. It depends on it's one of the customers. We have to do the 
of course the, the pre-sales teams in the in the partner are in the in Ali if need, if needed uh, so to do the the design of the of the required network uh, to to comply with the customer and customer requirements and depending on this design uh, for the cost uh, will will have to be calculated case by case it's not a uh, something that uh, uh, can be generalized for every type of customers. Correct. Uh, thank you, Anna. What are the main differentiators compared to your LAN WLAN competition? Okay, for this, uh, depending on the com specific competitor, we have to position, we have to uh, stress. Um, one uh, quality or, a, or or another quality of the of our solutions uh, you have the battle cards are available in the in the web in the business portal uh, i provided the links in the presentation so you can go and download these materials there are uh, short uh, battle cards and then some more elaborated and longer materials uh, and they cover the most frequent uh, the most frequent competitors like cisco meraki or aruba or hp um, so I think most of them are, are covered in these materials. So you can you can download them and go in details uh, in the case that you have to position in front of, uh, let's say, Cisco Meraki. You can go to the specific battle cards and see the, the summary the summary of the of the weakness of the competency, the strong points of the competency, and how we can or you can uh, counterattack uh, them in the in the end customer. Exactly. Thank you, Anna. Waiting for this document, and is there any more technical document regarding IoT? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The, the, the more technical document. This is a, a value proposition and sales presentation, so it doesn't go into details, uh, technical details. It's just to to mention the main uh, differentiators and the main functionalities and messages to position the. To position the offer in the in the hospitality uh, vertical. Uh, the, there are a couple of uh, technical documents also dedicated to, to hospitality vertical. These documents uh, is being are being upgraded, so they they will be available through the business portal in in, the, in a few few weeks. Uh, by uh, solely by the end of uh, this month, they should be available. And these technical documents. Includes uh, architecture, um, the reference architecture, the recommended uh, the recommended equipment, the details about uh, the IoT, the details about the Vista uh, management system, etc. And apart from that, there is also the dedicated materials, not verticalized, for each one of the of the of the solutions. So in the business portal website, uh, you can find every type of uh, technical uh, documents that uh, uh, will help you to do the design and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and select the best uh, solution in each case for your customer. Exactly. Thank you, Anna. Okay. We have no further questions. We'll wait uh, a couple of minutes since we are uh, ahead of time. I think uh, Patrick and uh, Fitri, yeah, they raised the hand, but at the end they asked questions. Okay. There are no further questions. Anyway, we are at your disposal for any anything that might pop up in the near future. We are at your disposal, write us or contact your local ALE representative to ask any further information about this uh, excellent solution. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, close the session since we have no more questions. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you, Anna, for the excellent presentation. And uh, I wish you an excellent rest of your day. And thanks again for attending this webinar. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you.